in this day. People listen. Second service worship us. How are you this day? Second service worship us. How are you today? Second service worship us. How are you today? Amen. Last Sunday we were looking at certain things. How that people live in disobedience, not even knowing that that simple instruction is the reason why they do not see manifestation. How many of you remember that? You did? We used to look in reverse and the irreversible. Second service is the shortest of all our services. So I ask that everybody get seated. We were considering that, and we are still considering the book of Second Kings, chapter 2, read from verse 19 to verse 22. For the want of time, I've been allowed us to go through reading it. It was a story about Elisha and the people of the city that identify the fact that the city is barren. That the city is barren. And that the water is not sweet. The water is bitter. And I did say in the first service that they had the opportunity of changing the narrative during the time of Elijah. Elijah, sorry. They were waiting until they returned back and they never returned. And we also did identify that it is so risky and costly to procrastinate things that we ought to do now. In fact, the word of faith is now. The word of faith is now. Now, faith is. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, not later. If the irreversible must be reversed in your life, you must take opportunity when the now shows. Your ability to identify the now in your faith work with God puts you on advantage. Many have mess, missed and mess the days of their visitation. But I pray for you this morning. You will not miss the day of your opportunity. Amen. Like the, those who said that they didn't miss it, those who didn't say, I don't know what to say. But that's my prayer for you. That a day, that a single thing that may not be worthy and waiting that you are asked to do to change the narrative in your life, may you not miss it in the name of Jesus. Amen. It becomes so clear that we come to church that are not prepared in church. We leave our homes, dress up, march to church, pay transport. They are not prepared for church. That was how the centurion, the Syrian soldier, known by the name Neman, saddled his horse, went to the city to see the man of God, but was not prepared for the man of God. He had his mind packed up. There were things he expects. Can I make this excuse for this morning to say, you are not honoring God, God is honoring you. Did anybody hear this thing I said just now? So open your mind when you come to God. So he went to meet opportunity, and when the opportunity came, he didn't recognize it because his mind were packed by the system, by the things he used to know. The Bible says, the man of God sent a message. He said, go tell him. Go and dip yourself in the water of the master. He said, what manner of thing are you saying? What river are you talking about? Is it compared to the one I left behind for you? Because he lacked understanding. 
that it's not about the river. It's about the obedience. Child of God, and you're irreversible that God is about to reverse. It's not about what you know or what you used to know. It's about your simple obedience. In the Bible, we have the catalog of people who by simple obedience turn their destiny around. It wasn't by the complicity of what they think they know. It is not by their certificate. And when they opened their mouth and spoke to Elisha, when Elisha was coming back, after the mountain has fallen on him, we saw how that Elisha, without wasting of time, turned the situation of the city. Child, I'm going to pray God for you today. That your reason for coming to church will not be defeated. And the cost the land was cured. Tell the family to let you know there was a reason why the land was lost. Someone cost the land. And it takes another man to reverse it. This morning, my assignment still remains in the second service. And everything that was had not turned into your life. Everything that is spoken against your destiny, everything they said that is still manifested, everything they said and is brought in your power, I stand on the greater authority, I stand on the greater power, I stand upon the limit of the mountain of God, I stand upon the eternity of the name of Jesus Christ. I declare every cursed word over you shall be reversed in the name of Jesus. You shall be reversed in the name of Jesus.
say, what did you She said, is there's, there's nothing you can do. Because he laid the end of both of you. This cannot work against this one. She came back furry, very furious, and became her target. He said, nothing will make her not to displace me and to do with me. Now you're in church, you gotta be careful. So one day she raised the first alarm and said, one half woman me. When you see this person calling you, you will have mercy on her. She's so deformed. He said, Pastor, come, 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 come. Sister, so, 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 want to kill herself. I don't know if you know, us, Pastor, there's this thing. Once you hear, say, remember, you will not think again. I left the bedroom and was going around to the house. As I got to the house, I didn't, I wasn't sensitive to notice that the lady that called me was not in the house. So I was left alone with the girl. As I started, she did have someone who is there. And I saw the knife on her center table. I think there's something the Holy Ghost wants to do for someone. She crawled up. The next I saw was the door was bolt against me and her. And she's wearing a small boxer and a flipping top. I said, You will do it. <laughs> it's my word against her word. The door is bolted. I said, ah, do it. All right, no problem, I'll do it. That's a change. I have to do it, but I have to put my shirt. Use my belt. She talks. She's dealing with a woman being. As she tried to go and turn up. I fire. I clap the door open. And I stood in front of her hands. I said, Talk that fire you. You will die untimely dead. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if she has gone at rest and raised the alarm, yes. even you, my church members, will not believe me. The first question you will ask me, what did you go to do alone in a single girl's house? And that was how that young man was set free. And then the lady part out of the town. Part out of the town. There's a note in this place. I stand today to the king who in father is holding you down. Listen to me. If you're not holding everybody, this prayer will work work for you. But if you are put your hand in something to help somebody in my trouble, hear me and hear me well. In the name of Jesus Christ, ah, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree anything that helps you down.
in during the other night, some of your witnesses. The young lady was in the covenant of blood, but the young man mistakenly was tricked into it. And the Holy Ghost spoke. And she came out. Today she's a mother of four children with another man. When we reverse it, everything begins to work in agreement. I said to her, go back to the same man. After the service, tell her, tell him I have come for us to break it. Immediately the man saw her. He said, hey, come, let's break this thing. And they agreed. The next two days, the man said, I don't agree. The girl said, it's too late. A month or two after, the man came, married her. She had children. Now listen to me. There is authority that is greater than authority. I stand on this authority this morning. I do not know why the Lord is taking me this dimension, but I know somebody is in this service who has long been held down. I decree, whenever you put your certificate, I'll show you what God you're saying. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Hey!
someone cast it. But paper that was not in your package. My God, I stand on this altar. I said, really? You told me, he said, I said, right, watch. When the so 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 got married, I called and said, so 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 have married. So 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 have two children. He said, I'm a witch. I said, yes, I agree. I'm a senior witch in the law. But I serve not a dead God. I stand on this mandate and I decree anyone that has been troubling your life from this day, may this altar trouble them. He 
said to the ruler of the synagogue, he said, I'm afraid. In other words, have faith. If, you, if I can see your faith, then the other one is gone. The reason why it seems as if it's not possible is because you're still afraid. Fear creates room for the devil. Faith creates room for God. In verse 37, the Bible says, as he ascended him to believe, he said, he said, suffer no man to follow him. He said, everybody wait. There are times in your life for your divine visitation, for supernatural manifestation, is a journey of few people. Too many friends, you talk too much. You tell this, you tell that, you tell this, you tell that. This day they will not talk. They will see your testimony. Yeah. You hear what I just said? Yeah. It will not be what you said to them. They will see with their eyes and know that you serve a God that cannot be defeated. Yeah. And the Bible says, and then you come into the house and then see it. How this little girl and happy wife been crying, weeping, tall, kind of confusion everywhere. And Jesus walked in. If you would allow Jesus walk into your life, when Jesus walked in, the desired predestined mandates was carried out. The Bible said the situation was not too bad as you said. People see a steady situation. They see it as a sin. Ladies and gentlemen, before I leave you, what's the difference between sleep and dead? They are all lying down, lifeless. One is at rest, one is hopeless. Your situation is at rest, it's no hopeless. Did you hear what I just said? It is a delay, it is not dead. Oh my goodness. Did you hear what I said? It is a delay, it is not dead. It is all D, but the D is different. It was delayed, it was not deleted. Oh my goodness. Did you hear what I said? Jesus said, she sleeps. She's not dead. And to prove what he's saying, in verse 40, the Bible says, and they laughed in to scorn. They looked at him. We are old men. We know how dead men do. For what we see, sir, there's no boss. She's not ready. Nothing. And the mother of the dancer, then men went with him and entered where the dancer is lying. Then leave behind those that know better and come to the woman who carries the faith and said, I am ready to go the road you take. I am ready to enter. No, no, faithless people don't take a step. And the Bible said, and they took the damsel by the hand. She's dead as it looked. But when the hand that is alive touched the dead life, have you not read that the Bible said that iron shall be next iron, and so shall a man's countenance shall be that of his brethren? The Bible said that he that was dead came alive. I speak to you, everything that look irreversible in your life, by the hand of God in your life, I decree it is alive now. Most of it, we know you didn't believe me, but I say it again. Whatever, listen to me. I'm a crazy man. I'm crazy in the sense that I can do crazy things as long as God says so. So that I can hold it by His word. Listen to me. To every man that will have divine visitation, there must be a word spoken to him. Did you hear what I said? There must be a promise on which you are running. No man run for divine visitation without a promise. The Bible says, My God, I speak to you that you will not die. Believe. He that heareth his word and believe it, though he was dead, shall live again. I'm not the one that wrote it. They say, He that 
I hear the word. I believe the word. Though he was dead, has opportunity. 